What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be doing another WWE figure accessory review on the ringside exclusive 10 piece hardcore accessories playset. <laughs> So since this just came in the mail today, guys, I do want to, you know, get a review up of this thing. You know, I didn't want to wait until uh, My Damn Hall's episode number 50 because that is our next episode. It's going to be really big. If you have any ideas for My Damn Hall's episode 50, definitely leave me down some suggestions down in the comment section. But uh, we have this 10-piece hardcore playset from Ringside Collectibles, a good old sponsor. We picked this up using the promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. This is an amazing playset. Cannot wait to crack it open. As you see, here's the front of the box. It says 10-piece uh, hardcore accessories playset. Got some images of what we're getting here. Wrestling figures, accessories. We got some uh, more images on the side there. Some more on the back. If you'd like to read that, you can pause it now. Um, on the back, we have, or another picture on the side there. And that pretty much covers the box, guys. So let's go ahead and crack open these accessories. I'm very excited about this playset. It looks freaking ridiculous. Let's see what kind of goodies we got in here. All right, guys, so if we open it from the side right here and we just slide this out, I believe we have all the goodies right here. Uh, I believe that is pretty much it. So if the box is back here, it looks like it's all stationed pretty freaking nicely. You have this, like, clear plastic stuff. You got the shopping cart in there. So I guess we'll just go ahead and take this little piece off. Get some more plastic. So we take that out, and I believe all the accessories are stored in the shopping cart. That's freaking beautiful right there. That's nice. Uh, right here, we have this massive. That's way bigger than I expected. Holy crap, guys. I'm going to have to show a comparison with some figures for, for sure, but uh, I don't even know how you get this crap open. All right, guys, there we go. And you can see, like, look at this right here. Like, holding it up to my hand. Look how big this is. Like, here's my hand. Like, it pretty much, like, covers. This is a big piece right here. Definitely, like, two tables almost put together. But uh, we got that big piece. It looks like a table in black with, like, some barbed wire attached to it. That is really cool. I guess they, like, stapled that or glued that down. That's pretty wicked. Uh, but here's the shopping cart. It looks really cool. It's got blue. You know, I showed you guys that fig hack. Uh, before, which had like pink, it was from Hobby Lobby. But let's go ahead and take this stuff out. Uh, we got all kinds of goodies in here. So here's the shopping cart. It does have like a working, it looks like a uh, little seat area, you know, where the toddlers sit right here. So that's pretty cool. But uh, popping it open, it looks like we have a trash can lid in here. So here's the trash can right here. It's very, very soft, like very uh, rubbery. It's not solid like uh, other ones. So I guess it's, you know, very easily to be posed. You know, it's not very stiff. So you can pose that. You also have this trash can lid, which is very, very nice. And I believe this goes on here pretty good. Yeah, I do believe, yeah. So there you go. There's the complete trash can. So we have a trash can. We got the shopping cart. We'll go ahead and stick that in the shopping cart right there. We have, oh my goodness, this looks freaking cool. We have this stack of tacks. Look at that right there. It's just like one molded piece of plastic. Let's go ahead and zoom in right here. You see it's like a molded piece of plastic, and it's supposed to be thumbtacks. I can, uh, that is freaking awesome, guys. So you just like lay it on the ground, and it looks like a stack of tacks or whatever laying on the ground. So you throw figures, you know, onto it, do the freaking, uh, Backlash 2004 with Randy Orton and Mick Foley or something like that. So that's cool. So we have our uh, bed attacks. We'll go ahead and stick in the trash can right there. It looks like we have a free roaming like barbed wire wrap. So you can take this and stick it around any accessory you want. This will, yes, you know, this is going to come in really good handy for the Extreme Championship on MDT Live. This will be really awesome to, you know, wrap around weapons and stuff to see how Bobby Lashley defends his uh, Extreme Championship. Over here we got some more weapons. It looks like we have a barbed wire baseball bat. And that is freaking nice. I don't think Mattel's ever given us this accessory before. So we have a barbed wire or uh, yeah, barbed wire baseball bat looking very nice. We have another barbed wire bat it looks like. But it looks more like a baseball. What is this? No, this is a 2x4. So we have a 2x4 with nails in it is what this is. Wow, that is very nice. I love the, the freaking molding on this. Looks incredible. It's a black 2x4. They even got the wood grains in there with the nails sticking out. Very awesome accessory. Next up, we have it looks like an on fire barbed wire 2x4 with, uh, yeah, look at that. So it even has like this flame effect on it. So we have barbed wire around the 2x4 with the flames. So that is pretty sick. And then the last thing we have, it looks like is these handcuffs you know we've seen this before with uh the mattel battle pack i think it's daniel bryan triple h we saw this but these look to be a little bit longer so these are freaking sweet man we got all these great accessories and weapons right here for the extreme championship on mdt live 
this little thing. I don't think this breaks or anything, though. I don't know exactly. I think you're just supposed to throw people on this, and, you know, their back or whatever is supposed to get stuck in there. So that is pretty freaking wicked, guys. You know, you set it up like this, and people get thrown on it, and then they get, you know, all tore up. You guys understand what I'm trying to say. But uh, get all this plastic out of here. Let's go ahead and get some figures over here and see what the stuff looks like in their hands and stuff. All right, guys, here we have some figures with all of the accessories that come in this Ringside Exclusive Hardcore playset. You got Cactus Jack over here with, you know, his uh, barbed wire bat looking great. I think this figure looks fantastic with the barbed wire bat, you know, very... Uh, uh, Nostalgic really uh, captures the moment right there with Cactus Jack and his barbed wire bat. I think that, uh, you know, these handcuffs, I just kind of got creative over here. I got RBD handcuff behind the chair right there. Uh, Randy Orton, he is landing on these thumbtacks right here. Uh, the trash can really didn't do anything with that, but uh, Randy Orton is landing on those thumbtacks right there from when he uh, had to do that at Backlash. We got Triple H over here, the white fantasy attire Triple H with the trash can lid. We got the Extreme Champion from MDT Live pushing the buggy with his Extreme Championship, you know, riding out front. Uh, we have, you know, Sandman back here. What I did with Sandman is I actually took him and, like, tangled him up in the barbed wire. You can actually move it around and stuff like that, so I think that's pretty cool that you can, you know, wrap this around his legs and stuff, and it'll be like he's stuck there. Uh, it is a shame that it doesn't break. I wish it did break. That is probably one of the only complaints I have of the playset. The rest of the stuff, guys, is just fantastic, though. Even though this is a really cool piece, I hate that it cannot break in half. But that is a very nice piece, and uh, the rest of the pieces are great. They have great detail. The silver paint and everything looks really good on that, so we'll stick this back up here. Dean Ambrose, this figure, this little fix-up Dean Ambrose that I have right here, this is the SummerSlam, base, or the SummerSlam Elite with some uh, arms uh, with black wrist tape on there, and I think this really looks nice, especially with the 2x4 with the black on it and the, uh, you know, the nails going through really captures with this Dean Ambrose and this one hand. I just think this weapon fits this figure so well. And then you have the other 2x4 with the fire on there. I think that works as well for this Dean Ambrose. You know, Dean Ambrose, sort of, he's the lunatic fringe, so you got to give him some weapons and uh, let him go loose on it. But that pretty much is every single weapon that comes in this little uh, ringside exclusive 10-piece hardcore accessories place. I'd really recommend picking it up, guys. If you want to pick it up, uh, it is available over there at Ringside Collectibles. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourself 10%. But uh, that pretty much does it for this little playset review. I do recommend it highly. I think all of the pieces are really neat. You get some stuff you have never seen before with Mattel. Again, I don't think we've ever gotten a bed full of tacks. Pretty sure we've never gotten this big piece with the barbed wire. A lot of this stuff really pays homage to Jax. I feel like Jax made this playset or something. The shopping cart is really freaking sweet. I think I'd be overreacting with a shopping cart if I hadn't picked up the one from Hobby Lobby, but it's still a really cool piece. It really uh, scales nicely and everything, and I bet this one's a bit deeper. You can actually get more weapons in the ringside exclusive one, so I do like that. Uh, just an overall amazing playset, guys, so definitely go over there at WrestlingFigures.com and pick up your set. But that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. If you're going to pick up this accessory, set or you already have it let me know down in the comments section below subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you